Hello everyone, my name is Beckett and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day today. And today I'm going to show you how to find rogue agents and not only rogue agents, but hunters. And this is specifically for the Ridgeways quest. So if you're struggling finding these hunters or finding Ridgeways pride, I'm going to show you how to get it done quickly and efficiently so you can get your chess piece and move on to other things. But before we get started, if you like the content, hit that subscribe button. And if this video helped you out, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps. We're growing into a nice little division two channel. So let's get into this. So Ridgeways is quite a grind. We have to do a lot of things, find a lot of different things. And a couple of things are, well, right now it's going to be changing in the next patch. So if you are watching this, after TU 11.1, it only takes two rogues and two hunters, but right now it's three rogues and three hunters. And soloing is kind of a struggle because only two rogues have spawn whenever you are by yourself. Now there's a few ways we can get rogues to spawn fairly easy, and we're going to go through those. First things we want to make sure is that we are always playing on heroic. It's just a better chance and it's just going to be easier to get them to spawn in. If you're playing on challenging, you may not see one for a long time. So one of the easiest ways and just no brainer ways is we can go into summit and just go into heroic legendary. It doesn't matter, but we want to do this quickly. So just go ahead and put it on heroic and eventually one of those floors is going to spawn a rogue. It may be the first one, maybe fifth, maybe 10th, 11th. We just don't know. There's also other ways we can do random missions on Heroic. That's another easy way. But the fastest and most efficient way and the easiest way I get a rogue to spawn every single time is control points. Just go to any control point, preferably Washington, D.C. It just feels like control points are easier to take over there. Maybe just New York just feels a little more aggressive, but that's besides the point. So just anywhere Washington DC, whatever control point you find easiest. Now I would say they spawn about every three or four control points. Sometimes it's on the first one. Sometimes it's on the sixth or the seventh, but this is usually the easiest way to do it. And you can farm out the gear you want at the same time. You get loot, you get rogues, you get your chest piece. Now hunters, Finding hunters and killing them is easy as you want it to be. There are hunters throughout the city that were released with like the year one with the original division two before any DLC. If you haven't done those, you can go do those. And I have a playlist on my channel just called division two hunters. Check out that. It's pretty easy to get that. We can also do it from getting to level 100 in the summit, but that's not always easy. And if you're like me and you end up pugging a lot, it's just not going to work because you're like, I'm waiting around for a group group. Finally, you get a group and they just can't do it. And you're like, I just want to go to floor 100. I just want my chest piece. So we're going to have to other ways. Luckily, it's season three and they're putting a focus back on hunters and they are actually chasing after Black Tusk operatives. So that's a great thing. So the easiest hunter to get to and kill during the manhunt is during the shade bounty mission. So you already completed it. You're going to have to go and re set your manhunt campaign. Once you do that, you can go ahead and do the bounty again. You might have to go through all the control points and stuff because I think I had to do that. So if there's a way around that, let me know. Now we're gonna do the shade manhunt. Normally we're gonna clear out each area and I think at the third area, that's when the hunter shows up and he'll be up some stairways on top of a little roof. Now the hunter wouldn't spawn if it was nighttime, like. I waited till about 6 a.m. and instantly it spawned, but I was trying to do it three or four times and it would not spawn at all. Also, if there's any enemies around there, I noticed that he wouldn't spawn. So if you can't get him to spawn that time, go ahead and clear everything out and just die and restart it. And also, if they're down on the street and they're not up on the roof, he won't spawn either. It's kind of buggy and it sucks. But once we kill the hunter, you just die, respawn, do it over again, die and respawn over. And you got your three hunters and then you're done with that part of the project. And hopefully you got your chess piece and you can move on to your builds. 